A number of the largest construction projects in the United States are set to begin construction, reach key development milestones or spark interest in 2022. The price ranges from hundreds of millions to tens of billions. These ongoing developments are distinguished by their scale, influence, and the narrative around them. Some are deeply divisive, some are associated with famous names or companies and others are pioneering innovations in manufacturing or transportation. In this video we will show some projects in the US that will be completed in 2022. But first, we hope the video reaches 100,000 likes so we can download the second part of the new projects. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. The project includes the construction of a petrochemical manufacturing facility on the U.S. Gulf Coast. It is a joint venture between Zobitz and an American company. It aims to diversify sources of materials and enhance Zobitz's presence in the North American petrochemical industry. Through a wide range of products, which expands its presence in the region in many products. This project is under construction. Tech giant Samsung has announced that it plans to build a semiconductor manufacturing facility in Taylor, Texas, United States, worth $17 billion. Samsung plans to start building the plant in 2022. Operations are scheduled to begin in 2024. The company has not yet announced a major contractor for the project. The estimated cost of the facility will cover buildings and improvements to property, plant and equipment. It will be the largest investment by a South Korean company in the United States. The project announcement comes amid a global shortage of computer chips. It could stimulate a series of federal funding and tax incentives for semiconductor manufacturing including the $52 billion CHIPS Act. The United States has approved the work of American companies on nuclear projects in Saudi Arabia. The United States has approved American companies to work on six nuclear projects in Saudi Arabia. California High Speed Rail Project, which will be the country's first long-distance high-speed railway. Once complete, it currently includes 35 active construction sites across a 119-mile stretch of the Central Valley. The sites are divided into three design and build contracts. Construction Package 1, which covers 32 miles of construction. 2 to 3 Construction Package, which covers 65 miles of construction. Build 4 Package, which covers 22 miles of build. The system is expected to extend from San Francisco to Los Angeles in less than three hours, via express trains that move at speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Planned extensions to Sacramento and San Diego will extend the system's reach over 800 miles with up to 24 stations. The current estimated cost of the Central Valley Band is $13.1 billion. In line with Zobitz's strategic plans to enhance its presence and growth in the United States, the new office will provide a world-class workplace. In order to support the partnership capacity, it will be a regional trading center for North and South America, which is under study. The city of Buffalo will build a new 60,000-seat stadium. By 2027, Possible locations for the new stadium include the existing Bell site, which directly replaces Haymark Stadium, or a new location in downtown Buffalo, yet to be determined. If it was built at the current Bill site, the new stadium will be the 11th most expensive. It will be the third most expensive at $2.1 billion. In addition, there will be the cost of moving residents and businesses. ACOM Engineering has completed the initial project and impact survey. A new stadium will be built instead of trying to renovate Haymark Stadium. It's a project that works to stop new oil and gas projects in the United States. Exploration for oil and gas in the United States This is in order to eliminate pollution caused by hydrocarbons and to work in the renewable energy sector. In 2035, there will be a reliance on renewable energy, 
and this will accelerate its growth. The foundation stone for the Edwards and Sanborn solar power and battery storage facility was laid earlier. The project is expected to be completed by the end of 2022. Project, it is located on private land and at least side from Edwards Air Force Base. It is expected to cost about $1.15 million. The project is being run in phases, and part of his solar arrays are already working. Once complete, the facility will house a 1,118-megawatt solar park with an energy storage capacity of 2,165 megawatts per hour. It is the largest single solar and storage project to reach this stage of development. The energy production is expected to use more than 2.5 million solar units, with over 110,000 units of lithium-ion batteries for storage. Power from the Edwards and Sanborn facility is expected to power more than 158,000 homes. This project develops automotive technology. This technology becomes available to all cars. This project will lead to it is in high demand because it is the cleanest means of transportation and is making rapid progress in a carbon neutral world. The project was funded with $18 million. In 2018, former Michigan Governor Rick Perry approved the Great Lakes Tunnel project. Canadian oil supplier Enbridge, which will replace the current portion of the Strait of Mackinac from the Enbridge Line 5 oil pipeline, with new lines buried under the Strait. Enbridge intends to drill up to 100 feet below the lake bed, in order to install the new pipeline, at an expected cost of $500 million. The Great Lakes Tunnel has been reviewed and approved by the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy. It is currently under review by the Michigan Public Service Commission and the Army Corps of Engineers. The contract was awarded to build Sterling Station in New Mexico, with a capacity of 29.9 megawatts. The station includes 13 wind turbines. Each turbine has a capacity of 2.3 megawatts and is manufactured by General Electric. The first phase of the engineering and architectural design contract has been awarded to Spaceport Houston. This 100,000 square foot facility will be developed on 400 acres. It is located inside Ellington Airport. This new spaceport will be used to achieve its goal of assembling the first international commercial space station and providing access to low Earth orbit. The new Houston spaceport will serve as an assembly, integration and testing facility, which, upon completion, will become a center for research work on microgravity experiments, manufacturing, commerce, and the economy of low Earth orbit. Regarding low Earth orbit missions, The project is considered in one of the largest and most important American projects in the Middle East. It covers an area of 174,000 square meters and contains several buildings and a very strong security level, to protect American employees and citizens in an emergency. Chipmaker Intel plans to build a massive 1,000-acre manufacturing site in Columbus. Start with at least two semiconductor manufacturers. This new site is expected to become Ohio's largest economic development project. Focuses on research and development of the latest computer chips. The developers plan to start building the Intel chip manufacturing plant this year. They expect it to be fully operational by 2025. It will provide jobs for about 3,000 people upon completion. The cost of the project is $20 billion. This project opens the way for American citizenship for 11 million people illegal. This makes them prove their presence in the United States. They can get U.S. citizenship as soon as possible. $400 million has been funded to build one of Philadelphia's largest residential projects. The funds will be used to construct a 1.9 million square foot mixed-use building. 
The $750 million project will consist of 1,457,65,000 apartments. The first phase will include the construction of 600 apartments spread over four interconnected towers, plus 50,000 square feet of commercial space on the ground floor, scheduled to be completed in 2024. It is an American relief project to combat the coronavirus. The United States will begin receiving about $130 billion in school funding. As for the schools that have resumed their activities, $81 billion have been allocated so far. U.S. President Joe Biden has allocated $3 trillion to architecture. The new spending plan addresses investment in roads, ports, airports, electricity networks and the Internet. What do you think is the best project in the United States for 2022? When we reach 100,000 likes, we will upload the second part of the projects. Here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.